Welcome to my channel, Main Street Orlando. My name is Josie, and today we are here at Disney's Epcot to check out the latest merchandise. We will be going into the main Disney merch stores, walk around the World Showcase, so let's go. Okay, so we have a Pixar Elemental, the new movie that's gonna come out, merchandise. And I wonder if we're gonna spot some more around here. I did see that they have ears and such. So yes, this is a deluxe figurine set and it looks so good and it is $30. And right now you can buy them for $20 each when you buy two. They have a six to six day, which is June 26. I almost forgot about that. It's almost upon us. And a look at this summery plush, very cute and it is let's see $35 very cute for $25 we have a 1000 puzzle piece set for Disney 100 do you spot any of your favorite characters here I spotted the elemental merchandise look at how detailed these ears look they have some applique of fire and water and kind of like mixed together in the middle that looks like a bow a little bit don't you think and these are beautiful they are very lightweight and look at the headband has some more designs on it i love the dark purple color let's see the back side okay i love it i really like these they're very cute and let's get the price on this one it is 35 dollars they've got the plushies so uh, obviously i haven't seen the movie but she's very pink and cute windbreakers her shirt says and she is 23 dollars let's check out the back of her shirt okay <laughs> okay she's very cute and then over here we have this one here i'm guessing she is one of the main characters isn't she fire well, that is her element and she is $23. Let's see another one here. Oh, look at this. Look at his green hair. Okay, look, he's wearing some camo, some shoes, $23 as well. He's wearing a hoodie. And the last one here is also one of the main characters. Water, right? That's his element. And look at him with a tie and everything. What does it say here? It says Inspector Wade Ripple very nice i like it and his eyes are actually embroidered on there all of these plushes their eyes are embroidered and 23 dollars for 40 dollars they have this oversized crop t-shirt here with all of these very cute colorful specs throughout the t-shirt i looked up their names and this is ember and wade and this is gail and claude for $60, they have this all over print hoodie and another t-shirt for $40 and it looks like a poster print, doesn't it? Periodic Park Element City. finally found the Herschel merchandise for Return of the Jedi's 40th anniversary. This is $40, so I think it's a really good price for what it is. It's a fanny pack and it has like this patch on here with the characters from the movie and the Star Wars patch. I love that, the collaboration patch, and this really gives it that earthy look due to the Ewoks or more like the planet of Endor. And then look over here, Return of the Jedi 40th logo. Now this fanny pack here is made out of 100% recycled material from water bottles. Isn't that nice? Actually, the tag explains it a little better than I do. 100% recycled fabric made from post-consumer water bottles. Now this one does have a mysterious price. I looked it up online. It was sold for $120 on Shop Disney. And it's a really large backpack and it has so much padding on the back, a laptop sleeve in the inside. Let me show you. Here is the inside and it has additional print on the inside. Look at this, May 25th, 1983 with its laptop sleeve in there.
So yes, any merch item showed in this video, also available to shop online, I will link down below in the description box for you. It is an affiliate link, so you, but you will not be charged more or less by shopping through the link. It simply helps the channel. And also hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe for more Disney merch updates and also Universal Studios. Decided to try on the ears for you guys and look how tall and big it looks because it has so many elements on it. But yeah, uh, they, I think they look amazing. They like you can see them from a mile away. They look so nice. Finally made some time to get my annual pass holder magnet of figment and he looks so adorable. Today is an extremely hot day, so I'm here at the refreshment station right in front of Test Track to get a frozen Coca-Cola. They also have a Fanta banana topped with caramel and blueberries for $6, but I'm not gonna get that creative today. I just want the Coca-Cola. Okay, so I did get a tiny bit creative and put some pop rocks at the top. Like when the cast member poured it in, it was popping everywhere. So hopefully this is refreshing for me. Let's see. Very refreshing. I'm guessing I'll get to the Pop Rocks eventually. Okay, mixed it in. Got the Pop Rocks. And yes, makes it more, I don't know, tastes like raspberry, but I can hear the Pop Rocks. Love it. Let's go into the Pin Trader store and see what's new. ML and I got tickets for the Magic Hat Pins Disney Pin Trading event for August 25th and 26th. We are so excited and we will be doing a video of our experience of us pin trading. So yeah, stay tuned. I see they have new of these jumbo pins, like this one here with all of the Ewoks, C-3PO, R2-D2. I believe this is in celebration of Return of the Jedi's 40th anniversary, and it is $18. And this one I adore. It is for Tangled Rapunzel, and look at Flynn Rider in the middle. I love it. We have Rapunzel's parents and Maximus and so many others. I love it. Even Pascal, $18. Celebrate Laughter 2023 with Tiana and Charlotte. This is so cute. Oh wait, and the little cat at the top. You see him there? And it is also $17.99. There's a better look with my shaky hands and everything. I just realized Charlotte moves. Isn't that adorable? And finally, getting a closer look of the Mulan 25th anniversary limited release mystery pin set. And let's look, it, ooh, it forms a sword, making it harder to just get one pin because now you want it to look like a sword. These are the characters and you get two randomly selected pins. It is $25. A Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse pin for $17.99. It is a limited release pin on pin. And in an Indiana Jones Lucasfilm limited release pin. I don't know the price of it, but it looks really cool. And to celebrate Monsters University's 10th anniversary, they have this new pin of Mike Wazowski School ID. And they'll actually got this one for me. It's a limited edition and I am so, so excited. It is the actual size of an ID, so I am in love with it. And over here, they have a limited release mystery pin box. When I come across it in person, I will go ahead and show you what the pins are. Because from here, it's a little a little hard to see but you can kind of see and yes they do sell magic band plus here they are anywhere between 35 and 45 dollars i haven't i don't think i've shown you this little mermaid live action magic band here they also have let's see oh look at this princess tiana one 
I love the navy blue. I'm in celebration of the Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room 60th anniversary. They have this magic band of the Tiki Room with the birds. And I've never seen these pass holder ones of Adventureland and Fantasyland over in Magic Kingdom. There is a lot to choose from. I actually came from Magic Kingdom today. I was over in Frontierland pin trading with this very amazing couple I met and they gave me amazing trades. I just wanted to show you guys what I traded for. I love the pins, love the trades. So just wanted to share that with you. I also share it over on my Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do so, Main Street Orlando. I also do reels and TikToks, also on TikTok, all the same at Main Street Orlando. So we're now in World Showcase, specifically UK Pavilion, came to the Queen's table and saw something on their window display very worth checking out. It's these teddy bear teapots. They are so adorable. They look hand painted. I love anything teddy bears. Let me know in the comments if you do too. However, I noticed something under here. It says, not for food use, decorative item only. Okay, but I mean, I would use it for decoration only if I had to, of course I would. And let's see, the head comes out, that's the lid. Let's figure out the price. So the teddy bear is $75 and it seems like each of these is a different price. You would have to ask for the price. They have the guard, they have the Scottish Terrier here. And then over on this side, they have a train. Isn't that nice? A telephone, wow, wait a second. Wait, how does this one work? Okay, they're very delicate, so you do have to be careful. Okay, I see this is a little lid. I get it. And then the tea comes out of here, but this is decorative, I believe. And we have the black a Scottish Terrier. Very cute. I love the wallpaper in this room. you would find Alice in Wonderland merchandise here such as this little tea set it is $35 isn't a bad price it's always tea time from that same collection they have the ceramic plate for $15 and I love this small glass here with Alice and in the back it says United Kingdom and it's also $15 And look at this, the life and reign of Queen Elizabeth II. This has so much detail and so much reading. The coronation, the royal family, corgis, the royal wedding, Her Majesty's government, and it's $45. And since they sell lots of tea, you can also get your snack accompaniments. Is that how you say it? accompaniments? Anyhow, so they have the English toffee for $20. I love this little tin of the teddy bear and they have this design as well. Let me tell you, this English tea garden is so, I don't know, it's so calming, it's so peaceful. And I really enjoy walking through here and just kind of reading and looking at the different teas and learning about the tea. So I really encourage you to come and check it out if you come to Epcot. It's just a little, little bit away from the hustle and bustle. Came to the French Pavilion to see if I can get something to eat specifically at the Le Al Café Boutique. <laughs> 
hopefully I pronounced that correctly. They have the prettiest and most tastiest looking treats. And yes, carbs are my guilty pleasure. So I ended up getting the, uh, I'm gonna try and pronounce this for our French friends. Have mercy on me. So it is the Jambon Bleu. Hopefully I said that correctly. And I asked for it to be warmed and they're like, no, no, no. The best way to eat this is cold. It's a cold sandwich. So yeah, thick slices of cheese and the ham. So really tasty. You see that? Arrived at the Japan Pavilion, one of my most favorite pavilions in all of World Showcase and the store, Mitsukoshi. Let's just cut right to the chase and look at these Sanrio items. I love Sanrio stationery. It always looks so delicate and cute. Hello Kitty, look at my favorite ribbon. These little notebooks, oh look at the backside, are $8. And then when you flip through them, look at the design. Very cute. And then they also have Kuromi. You see that? And they have Cinnamon Roll, which they recently, Sanrio did um, like a poll of who was the most popular Sanrio character. Number one being Cinema Roll, number two being Pom Pom Purin, which is this one here. He is actually a Labrador. And the third place was Kuromi. I think these water bottles are very useful. They are a good size and they have a strap so you don't have to carry it on your backpack and put weight on your back. And it covers where you put your mouth. I love that. They have a Hello Kitty one. They are $30 my melody they all have little quotes at the bottom and i saw a light blue one which means it is cinema roll they always have the cutest sanrio plushes here like this cinema roll one with the little baby i don't know the little baby's name anyhow he is adorable 27 dollars and look at this karomi plush for 38. this is my favorite plush charm they have here of pom pom purin i think he is a sweet dessert maybe a cupcake and he is 17.50 for 28 dollars they have these very cute tote bags karomi hello kitty and cinema roll and look at the head pillows at the top we have kuromi and hello kitty they are 52. they have a variety of t-shirts this one here is 30 dollars, but the rest of these are 25 dollars. they have demon slayer on here Demon Slayer Funko Pops for $17. Now, I've only watched Demon Slayer, only a couple of episodes, so I don't know much, but I'll show you Demon Slayer fans. Here are the other two. Not too long ago, I uploaded a Disney Springs merch tour where I went to Uniqlo, the Japanese clothing store, and showed you some Sumiko Gurashi kids t-shirts as well as peanuts hello kitty and more so if you haven't seen that video i'll link it down below for you but look at these plushies they are so adorable how much are these let's see 37 dollars look how adorable they are she is much larger and she is also the same price 37 dollars look how adorable but look how much bigger you, my Melody, and Karomi fans are gonna love this. Look at them, they have the duo. It's very hard to spot them together. Either they're out of stock of one or the other. So I like this, very cute. Let's see, look at the tag. It is $38 and my Melody must be the same price. She keeps falling over, I don't want her to fall to the floor, but look at her. Love these Sailor Moon hats by Bio World, $28. Let's see this one. This one is $25. Look at these Kuromi slides in pink and black. They are $38. 
behind the registers they have this glass display where they have all of these collectibles and figurines so you would have to ask them I, I guess to get one and I kind of peeked on this one since it's open and this one here is of Luna $50 from Sailor Moon this one looks flocked let me see how much this one is $45 Okay, I don't understand it, but I'm guessing it's a figurine. And look at this Dragon Ball Z one. We have more of these Sailor Moon ones. And these look like little mystery boxes. Very cute. The store carries lots of Demon Slayer merchandise. Wow, look at these fabric banners. I love the Sailor Moon one with the pink. Let's see the price on it, $25. And they also have Spy Family over there. A recipe book for Yum Yum Bento Box. Fresh recipes for adorable lunches. Okay, I would love to pack lunch like this. I wish I had that ability. Maybe I should practice, $17. And this here helps you perform that task. Isn't that cute? Let's see how much these are, $10. And these picks to put on in your food. I believe this is also for packing lunches. Look at that. Let's see if you can see. There we go. And these are, let's see, cats and sea life. Uh, $8.95. And I see over here cats and dogs. Okay. Very cute and like little garden. Here are the bento boxes. These are made in Japan called Takenaka. Hopefully I said that right. And wow, they are $43. They're expensive. I wonder if they're like something very pro. Not sure. And if you need a Super Mario Bros. encyclopedia, then here it is. The first 30 years, the official guide. Let's get the price on it. It is $40. And this is what it looks like on the inside. A pile of Pokemon plushies for $25 each. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget about those Shop Disney links down in the description box. Subscribe for more Disney World merchandise, tours, updates, and fun, and Universal Studios as well. Questions or comments, leave them down below. Give this video a like if you did. It really helps the channel. And also that notification bell so you are notified every time we upload a new video, which is the three times a week. And if you want to see the video prior to this one where I go to Universal Studios and tour the latest merchandise, you can check it out right up here. We actually Actually check out the brand new villain con evil stuff store part of minions land check it out or if you want to see the video where I tour unique low in Disney Springs among other things you can check it out right down here and I cannot wait to see you guys again very soon bye